What's up, Blake Paulers? It's your boy, Blake Rozier. You know what? It's about time I start going hard on this YouTube shit. Enough of this half, half-butted stuff. I'm going full ass. Today's a video that I've been wanting to do for a really, really freaking long time, and I'm really excited about this video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to send a letter without a stamp. I know that sounds crazy, and you guys are going, Blake, how you doing it? Let me explain. When you send a letter normally, you put the desired address you want it sent to here. You put your return address here, where if it doesn't get there, it will be returned to. And then you put a stamp, so it has enough postage to get to wherever it goes. You know how a fucking piece of mail works. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this letter, and I'm gonna write any address here, doesn't really matter what the address is, and I'm gonna put the return address as my desired address. Um, in this case, I'm gonna make it my house, and I'm gonna drop it at a mailbox far away from here, in town, and see if it returns here, because I'm not gonna put a stamp on it. Does that make sense? It shouldn't, because no one's done this, I don't think, but hopefully this little thing is gonna return to my house. And then we know that all you need to do is write anything here. You can put freaking McDonald's Kentucky Fried Chickenville and put the actual address here that you want, no stamp, and it'll go to the return address. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. The only thing about this is I feel like this is stealing. Whether you like it or not, this is stealing. And this is even worse, it's stealing from the government because the United States Postal Service is part of the government. Look at me, I'm not much of a stealer guy when you look at me, I'm not a stealer. I'm not like a criminal. But you know what, I think I can transform enough in order to do this. All right, fuckers. So let me show you what I got so far. This is my old band, Quiet Game Starting Now. We did breakdowns and shit, so it was pretty heavy, so that's pretty much the most badass shirt I have. I have this leather jacket that used to be my dad's before he was a dick and left me. He left me with this bullshit. And I got black pants because I believe in death, and Crocs because I just don't give a frick. God, I sound like a douche in this video, and that's what I'm wanting. We're going for badass because you, we just don't give a shit. Now, to finish the badassery, we're gonna stick with the mohawk. We're gonna mohawk this shit up because that is what badasses do. And this is going to be the pierre de resistance, whatever, pierre de resistance. Uh, and this is really gonna show everybody that I am a badass and I can steal from the postal service. A full 40 cents. Is that dumb? It's dumb, is that what I want? Yeah, but I want it to look Sick. Let's see. Let's go like this. Is that how you do it? Okay, that's stupid enough. Perfect. Okay. Let's uh, wash my hands off. You know what? No. More badass to leave all that sticky goop on me. Here's the card. Um, I had to cut it because it wouldn't fit in the envelope, which I think is kind of badass as well. I put, you are a badass. Love your badass with a like a bone through it, kind of like a skull and crossbone minus the skull. Um, I think that's pretty sick. And here's the, the address that doesn't need to make sense. Poopsie Boyd is the name. 1666, so that was like devilish. Bro Down Street, Pirate, California, 94553, just totally random. And I'm covering the actual address because I don't want you to see my real address. All right, what's up, fuckers? Looks like my hair didn't stay, but you know, it's more badass to not give a shit about how you look when you're badass. Um, Second best thing next to a fucking Harley is this little bitch right here. See if I could do it without crashing, but let's be honest, if I crashed, it'd be pretty sick. Get out of my way! Oh shit. A lot of people would be scared to do this kind of stuff, but I'm a badass and I'm on my way to give my letter for free, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, sorry, it's all good. Pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. 
Even dogs are scared of me. You mind if I film you real quick? I'm just filming other badasses with me. What do you think about stealing from the United States Postal Service? Uh, about, about stealing? It's Dealing from the United States Postal Service, pretty uh, badass, right? I would think that, that's a bad thing to do. Yes, yeah, badass. It, 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 you think badass is a good thing? Yeah. Stealing from the United States Postal Service is, is, is good? Just like a stamp, like 40 cents. No, I don't think you should steal anything. Oh, shit. Sorry, you're going to have to take me off of there, huh? Oh, shit. Do you think I, do you think I look like a badass? <laughs> do, you think I, do you think I look like a bad butt? Me. Yeah? <laughs> What do you think about stealing from the United States Postal Service? Do you think I look pretty badass? What do you think about stealing from the United States Postal Service, my dude? No? Sorry, Mom. Badass is in town. That's a quick question. Good, bro. What's it feel like to be around a registered bad, uh, what, a fucking registered bad butt? What? Registered bad butt? What's a registered I'm a bad ba uh, I don't say... I'll say fucking, but I don't say ASS. Gotcha. How do you feel being on camera with one? Feels good. Amazing. Hell yeah. What do you guys think about stealing from the Postal Service? The U, the USPC, whatever? Yeah, the United States Postal Service. Why would you steal from them? Steal a stamp, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about being around a, bad, a badass like me? No? I wouldn't either. Hey, yo. You guys scared of me? Do I look like a badass? Do I look like a bad butt? Right. Shit. Alright, see ya. Scared, I guess. Despite what people think, I am a badass. And I got a bad tush. And I just found a mailbox. Good old mail B. I'm gonna drop off my letter and see if it, uh, if it ends up working out. So we'll see. No stamp, as you can see. Let's do this. No tricks here, boys. No tricks. No tricks here, boys and girls. Just a certified bad at bad butt on the loose. Now it's time to park my hog and wait for the mail to roll in. <sighs> oh, what's up? Didn't see you there. <sighs> As you can see, I'm livid. And I'm in dismay that my piece of mail was not returned to me. And I'm shocked. Beyond shocked. This United States PS. The nerve they have to not return my piece of mail. Why didn't the scam work? Why didn't it work? Tell me, USPS. Only one way to find out. And that's to call the fuckers up. And I'm gonna do it. With my phone and my ear. I'm gonna listen to what they say and I'm gonna talk with my mouth using my diaphragm and they're going to answer I'm going to listen with my ear. It's going to hit my eardrum and then process into my brain. And I'll tell you guys using my mouth. Bring it. Um, U.S. Postal Service. Hi, U.S. Postal Service. This is Blake, otherwise known as Bad Butt. Hi, Blake. Hi. Um, I'm just calling because I am a little confused why I didn't receive my returned mail. Oh, right. I know what you're talking about. Um, you do. I'm sure it was on high alert because I am such a bad butt. Right. Um, yeah, it was, um, we, yeah, we agreed that you were too much of a bad butt to send it back to you. So, Di or what was your name? Julie, great to meet you. Never heard of you before. Um, Julie, thank you so much for letting me know that the reason it wasn't returned to my return address is because I was such a bad butt and I was so, so scary. Right? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. I don't... Thank you so much. All right, well, there you have it. You heard, straight from the lion's mouth. We all have different ways we want to live our life, and I'm not really sure if this bad butt way is truly the way I want to live the rest of my life. I mean, look, it just didn't even get me where I wanted to be. I'm not a criminal. I can put whatever clothes on, I can spike my hair whatever way I want, but it doesn't mean that my, my ways are gonna work. 
I'm just really the true me under it all. And the true me. And the true and the true me. It's just me under it all. You know what? And the true me. And it's just me under I'm I'm not a bad butt. And I never will be. So I'm gonna retire these clothes, retire this identity that I put upon myself, and I'm gonna go back to being a good butt. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you guys soon.